Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we will be discussing a very fun video. It is the bicycle, the modifications and how to use them. The bicycle is one of the means of transportation in Dawn of Zombies and this is where you expand your territories and you travel to places that you can only reach by having a vehicle. So there you will have to first assemble the bicycle then the bicycle will have modifications that you'll be able to find around the territories. And after that, these to install these modifications, you will need certain items as well before you install them. Okay, some of them are actually now available and some of them are not available. So without further ado, let's get started with the components that will help you find the bicycle and assemble it. So the, the bicycle will be in your base, it's all laid out but it needs material to be assembled so you can ride it. And to ride it, you will actually need oil. Okay, the oil you will find around the map. But let's talk about these components first. The sack, you'll need two sacks, and they are very easy to craft. You can just craft them from the crafting menu. You need rebars, you need 20 rebars. Rebars can be crafted in the anvil. And the only challenge you will have with these components are the bolts. These bolts means you can only get two, two bolts at a time, maximum, every eight hours. And it's only a chance because you will get them in the warehouse. Everything drops in different places except the bolts. Bolts, you need 20 of them, they are very important. And you will need more of them to be able to install other modifications like a bag or a weapon kit or a armor kit or even uh, the water kit, I think. So, yeah, this is probably the most tricky part. Like the bicycle sprockets, they are not very difficult to get. You can get them in yellow zones, green zones, and the sparks you can get mainly from chest. Any chest with a trader will give you these sparks, okay? Uh, what else? We have the chain links. The chain link is also available widely in any any level, any map, okay? And you know the the twines the twines are craftable. You need 20 twines. They are craftable at the um, what is it? What is it? At the workbench. So these are all the components really. The hides you can get them from wolves or or elks. So these are quite easy to get. The only challenge you will have is probably getting those bolts, okay? Like I said, the bolts, you will be able to get them for only from the warehouse, nowhere else, as far as I know, nowhere else will, will drop the bolts. And the bicycle pockets probably could be challenging, but you can get them in any red zone. Like what I noticed, in any game, you have like a time frame where you can get your like any survival game you have like a vehicle right you have a time frame set for you to be able to get it like normally you would get it between 45 and 60 that's around the time where you will start getting all the items together and remember you will have to have at least 10 warehouse runs to be able to get the uh, bolts but it's not only that to install other items, you will need bolts, two bolts, I think, for each. Two bolts. Two or four bolts for each modification. So this makes a lot of warehouse runs. So good luck with that. And uh, yeah, let's move to the other, uh, to the modifications. Let's talk about their use and how good they are. Okay, so after you install the bicycle, after you get the components done, you will find it right here by your antenna. So... I have already modif I have already installed modifications, so sorry about this. I can't unchange them, so I show you what the components are. As you can see, I have full accessories as of right now. These are not released yet. These two modifications. This one would allow you to travel through different territories, and this one is just to spray your bike and change color, and just like a dye. So let's talk about the modifications. So this modification will allow you to install bags. The white bag will give you two slots. The green bag will give you three slots. And the blue bag, which is the one I have, 
it gives you four slots and to to access this one if you are on a map or something um, if you're farming somewhere on a map just go you see the button on the right is, it says trunk that's the trunk of the bicycle so it comes originally with two extra slots and now you have six I have six because I have um, I have the blue bag which is four so you can just move any items you actually want and then you have the space to come back into the same map that you are farming in and you'll be able uh, to get what you need okay um, what else so this is very important it's very good but it also has expiry date so you have to keep farming those what else are we going to talk about here this is a very good modification this like uh, this is the bow uh, it's a bike crossbow it it shows you how let me show you how it attacks so it attacks in a, any enemies in a row the blue one is really really good it's a really good weapon use it in the besieged house mainly i will tr i'll try and, and get you a footage of that on how to use these modifications mainly but it does good damage but unfortunately it's like it has like a click timer so you want to cast it early before the enemies attack you and you cannot cast these modifications if you are on auto attack when you're auto attacking they you will not be able to cast those so you will have to cast them independently and the next one this is the most interesting part this is the best part okay the water reduction i don't know why actually they installed this i think they were just bored and they didn't feel innovative enough to get something better out of this reduce thirst rate nobody cares about this to be honest the best two things that you are going to get out of these are the gun and the armor but here for the healing what i haven't actually died in a while so I didn't get a fatal blow, which these mean that if you actually are going to die, you will not die if you get hit by a lot of monsters. It Your health would recover a portion of the, the HP, maybe 20%, 30% before you die. So keep on the lookout for that. I, I really am sorry I didn't actually try it, so I wouldn't be able to give you a 100% answer. But that's what it says in the description itself, that you will not die once you receive high damage so this will recover percentage of your HP so the blue one would recover a part I have a, lo a, a lot of the blue one so probably this would recover like 70% of your HP the regular one would recover like 40% and then the other one should be like 25% or something similar like I said the water the thirst rate is really stupid it's not really necessary but the best ones this is where you actually this is where it gets interesting because of the gun the gun one which is reduces the the weapon repair kit which gives you the ability to reduce the wear armor of uh, the wear rate of your weapon so where do you use this where is the best use for this for me I think logically I would be not using it in the warehouse why I will be using the armor in the warehouse because I will be getting hit in the warehouse there's nowhere nowhere to run you are running in very tight place you have a lot of taggers on you taggers and claws you cannot run away from them and also you have the carnifex the stinger the stomper all these are melee that can catch up to you you just cannot really run away unless you just like throw a molotov or set them on fire and then start running but they will catch up to you eventually because they are not just one there are many of them into the map itself so the best choice for me is to get the armor repair kit to reduce the, the uh, wear rate of your uh, armor. Where do I get the weapon? The weapon repair kit uh, is best used in the besieged house. Besieged house you keep running, you really are not going to get hit. And many of the times you don't really need to even use a bandage. Maybe one or two if necessary. But that's it. Because if you know what you are actually doing, you will not need to use many things. So reducing the wear rate of your weapons in the besieged house, for example, or the bandit camp, the abandoned cabin, all of these are actually very, very good to utilize the, armor, uh, the weapon repair kit in there. The machete, really useless really useless you'll get hit like three four times by the time you hit one because you can see the animation is really stupid so it's like okay it looks cool but I don't want to get hit 
you know? So it's like, I don't know, someone should just make a meme out of this because it's really not, I'm sorry, it's not useful. If it was to open cars, then yeah, this would save me like a slot in my inventory, but that's it. Unless what they can do with this is they can actually make this like 2500 combat level or it gives you, it guarantees you a crit hit on a multiple wave of enemies. Okay, like if I want to hit like this, if there are like three or four monsters, I want to just slash them with a crit hit. I don't want to like lose so much armor and for it not to be useful. So these are really just the modifications and... And like I said, these two, like the spray paint is just not going to affect your bike other than the color. This item here, the uh, chases, is going to allow you to travel to different territories. So once you go to the map, there are other maps that will open up. You go to other bases. And remember, to run to run this, you need grease. You need to grease your uh, your bike. If you, could, if you look at the top, I have 58 grease or oil on my on my bike so every grease like the one that you find on the maps will recover 20 so you need five to make it full so you see i used one and then it it, it took it to 78 if i use another one it will be like 98 now you see so so the grease is not really difficult to find but it is highly recommended that you stock up on that how do you stock up on that do the trader the trader that is um, the engineer splinter but you also need the bicycle to reach that engineer uh, apart from this what you need to farm every everything all these armor kits all the grease grease can be found in any map but these modifications can be found in treasure chests that you get from the traders mainly the huge and the the huge and the big trader chests any anyone whether it's the warehouse trader the union trader or the besieged have Besieged House has the best chance to get them until you get to Splinter. Splinter the Engineer has like probably 85-95% to 95 chance of you getting a modification inside. Probably you can get two modifications or three. It all depends on your luck. But like I said, remember, last but not least, the vaults are the most important thing for you to be able to run this bicycle. Because everything is attainable except the bolts you have to find them in the warehouse so this is pretty much it i will just try and leave you with a very quick few seconds of how to utilize the modifications and i really hope that you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see and i'll be more than happy to help you bye for now